Hi there. What do you say? Wanna work for me? Yeah, But how often do people bathe on the surface? Sumimasen. Oh, it's you. I'm glad you're here. We have a situation developing, one you should freely be made aware of. We've had somewhat of an outbreak, an illness that's been going around the HQ's personnel. It's not too serious. No one's died yet, uh, but it has incapacitated at least a quarter of our staff, not to mention the stress it's put on the HQ's plumbing. How exactly did this happen? I suspect it's due to the influx of staff. Lots of people in a confined space breathing the same air it was bound to happen sooner or later. We often had similar problems in Vault 81. A single person has a cough today, the entire vault has it tomorrow. Maybe you should find a doctor. Yes, that would be the apt response. However, as there is no one here with the necessary expertise, we shall have to do some outside hiring. Preferably an individual with pharmaceutical training. Or barring that, an individual at least capable of spelling pharmaceutical. I know someone that might be able to help. I believe we've come to the same conclusion. You speak of the Nightingales, yes? I had heard you'd already had some dealings with them. I believe one of their more expert members was looking to move on from the group. She may consider joining if we ask nicely. Um, I suppose I should say, uh, good luck? I hope it goes well? Bye now.
all she wants, but Cassie knows what she's doing with those teas. Still in one piece? Welcome back. As resolved as I was when I made my little speech to Fiona, I have to admit, actually leaving is harder than I thought. Doesn't help that my joints aren't as excited about new trails as they used to be. What are you gonna do now, Doctor? Hopefully, find a place where I can conduct my research in peace, quiet, and preferably with respect from the locals. We need your help, Doctor. Oh, what a coincidence. I'd heard of your HQ and was actually thinking about visiting. Maybe even bring over a mute cake. Now it seems I don't need an excuse to nose around. <laughs> I'll make my way there as soon as I've made my final goodbyes. whatever space you please. Oh, how rude of me. You go through all this effort in recruiting a medical expert to help manage an outbreak, and in she comes and sets up shop. How terrible. Well, yes, that's exactly it. We may need your expertise with this outbreak, but that doesn't mean you're hired yet. You're not even listening while I try to explain the symptoms we've seen. Oh, did I give that impression? But you were so accurately modeling the symptoms I know, I mean, for me, then I, 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 I diagnosed them as soon much, as I but saw I truly you. do enjoy working here. It's a stomach flu. That's your idea of a diagnosis? And I wasn't uh, modeling Fiona, anything. Fiona. I'm not even sick. Why don't you sit down for a second? I'm sure you've been on your feet all day. Well, yes, I do feel a bit tired. There's just so much work to do, what with half our personnel being sick. Look, maybe you should just start by treating our staff. If you're successful, then perhaps we can offer you a permanent position here. How very generous of you. You can't just take Ned. over whatever space there you, you are. please. There's something we need to discuss. So, what's our situation? Your staff seem to be passing around a mutated strain of influenza. Not the worst virus, but I doubt you want your security teams taking breaks to hurl. Get on with it already? Pleasant, as always. I can treat it, of course, but there's no point. What do you mean, no point? It's what you're here for, isn't it? That's right, Cedric. But there's little point in treating it until the root cause is addressed. You just said it! The flu is the root cause. It's the cause for the illness, not the outbreak itself. Tell me, are all the staff living in the same quarters, sharing beds, rooms, toothbrushes? Excuse me? Who do you take me for? Of course I have my own toothbrush. Uh, although, now that you mention it, I have seen other staff members sharing their toiletries. I thought so. My medical advice? More beds. Their own rooms, preferably. More than one bathroom, and definitely their own hygienic supplies. Yes, we all wish for more privacy. Some of us more than others. But we just don't have the space to give everyone their own rooms. Really? Am I hearing this right? In this massive building, there is no space for additional rooms or beds? Well, there is a collapsed sublevel we found, but I've declared it out of bounds for staff. It's not safe. There's odd noises, and odors. I think 
There might be feral ghouls down there. Are there any other options? Well, no. No, I don't think so. Uh, the sublevel may indeed offer us the space we need. Uh, but it would require securing first. Sounds like just what we need right now. Uh, but uh, there's monsters down there. <sighs> would you be a dear and clear the nasty, spooky ferals out of the sublevel? Don't patronize me, Doctor. I'm the one in charge here. Then order someone to do it for you. You do have a security department, don't you? I'm sure you can spare them for a couple of days. The sublevel is accessible via the main elevator. I had disabled the button leading to that floor, but I'll order it reactivated. Once this has been dealt with, I can start treating people. You can find me here. Cedric has been kind enough to let me choose where I set up. What? Oh, of course. <sighs> I think... I think I'll take a small break. Rest my eyes for a bit. I'll be setting my stuff up. Calling any available security personnel. From reports in the North Corridor. To resolve a domestic incident.